What is up, everybody? Welcome back to RacingNews.com, and welcome back to another uh, edition of our Top 5 Horses in Training. Uh, we do this every single week, and uh, we've got uh, no changes to the Top 5 this week. However, uh, we do have uh, some horses that are kind of knocking on the door, and we got to talk about a horse that could move up to number 1, uh, depending on what happens this week. But let's get to it. Number five on my list, I have Nest. I do think Nest will move up, but I have our number five for now because we just have one start under the belt so far in 2023. It was a good start, obviously. Was able to beat Clarier, the top older or older female in the division. Uh, looked very, very good, but it was a four horse field. It was only a grade two race. This is more about, hey, what have they accomplished so far? If let's say horse of the year uh, voting happened right now today as I was recording this, I don't think one race and a grade two win against the four horse field is going to get you a ton of votes. So that's why I just have, him, I have her at number five for right now. She's definitely going to move up this list. So I love Nest. I happen to think she is the best older female in the country. But for rankings, let's see if she let's let's at least give her a grade one before we put her up higher than our number four ranked horse, which is Clary Air. And like I said, she's kind of earned it, right? She has two grade one wins. She's ran in a lot more races this year and the race where Nest beat her. Even though it was soundly, Clarier really didn't have much of a shot. She is a horse uh, that likes to come from out of it. It was a four-horse field. There wasn't any pace. Clarier is probably never going to win a race like that against a horse like Ness. She might be able to turn the tables with a more fair shot next time out if that happens. So right now, I'll keep Clarier at number four. She obviously can't lose to Nest again, though. If she does, we're going to move those uh, or we're going to flip-flop those two horses for sure. But as of now, Clarier at number four once again this week. Another horse that hasn't moved, number three, up to the mark. Uh, horse has been dominant on the turf to, uh, with, with two big grade one wins in a row. Uh, the last one, the Manhattan Stakes at Belmont Park on Belmont Stakes Day. It was one of the best turf races we've seen this year as far as fields were concerned. And he absolutely dominated that group. So up to the mark, number three for me, he's going to be really, really tough to beat. He might have a shot at the Breeders' Cup turf, which is something the Europeans have really dominated over the last few years. Number two on the list. Elite power, and boy, did he run a fantastic race to win the Vanderbilt. Gunite, a horse he had to run down in the stretch, was not stopping. Gunite ran fantastic, but Elite power was able to wear him down late. Well, I wouldn't even call it wear him down. He was just able to catch him late. Uh, it was a fantastic race. If you haven't seen the Vanderbilt from last Saturday, go back and watch it right now. Well, after you're done with this video, of course, it was unbelievable. What a performance by Elite power. I nearly put him number one, and I'll talk about the number one horse here in a second, but I thought, no, we'll keep him at two because he does have a stable mate <laughs> that's been pretty brilliant, and our number one horse is Cody's Wish, and Cody's Wish has been fantastic, obviously, in two starts this year. Dominant wins, including the Met Mile last time out. However, we're going to see him stretch out in distance this week in the Whitney Stakes. He's going to go from a mile to a mile and an eighth. Will he be as dominant? That's a huge question mark. We don't know until he tries it. His pedigree says, sure, he'll be fine. So, um, you know, if he runs to the pedigree, he should be able to get the job done and remain the number one horse. If he doesn't run quite as well, if he loses, Elite Power is there to take over the number one spot. He's been that good that we'll put a sprinter at number one, something we usually don't do in the United States, but he's just been that good. So Elite Power waiting in the wings to become the number one horse, but Cody's Wish for another week has that, um, you know, has that ranking. And listen, if he wins, he'll keep it, but we'll see what happens. Uh, going on from a mile to a mile and an eighth, one turn to two turns, you never really know. So we'll see if he can get the job done. All right, to recap it, number five, Nest, number four, Clarier, number three, up to the mark, number two, Elite Power, and number one is going to be Cody's Wish for another week. Uh, you know, one more thing I would say, Gun Knight ran so well in defeat, I put him back in the top five, or top, excuse me, the top 10, because I ranked 10 for the NTRA poll. I put him back in the top 10, so I thought Gun Knight, even with a loss, you know, deserved to be in the top 10. I also put Forte in the top 10. I think he is the top older three-year-old now, and he's got a shot to move up, not just the three-year-old. He's number one in the three-year-old rankings, at least for me, but maybe move up, uh, you know, spots and get into this top five as we go along especially if he can win a race like the Travers. All right, guys, thanks everybody for watching this video. Hit the like button if you like it. Hit subscribe if you really like it. Wanna get alerted anytime we do videos like this, and we'll see you next week. RacingNews.com is your home for the best free picks for every race, every track. Summer's here, our picks are heating up. We want you to join us in the fun.
Subscribe to the Racing Dudes YouTube channel right now. Click the notification bell. You don't want to miss a single one of our awesome videos. Want to make money betting horses? Bet with the Racing Dudes.